have some gorgeous peonies. And I am going to cut some for a bouquet to just have inside. Look at those over there. Oh, so pretty. The person that lived here before us had an eye for gardening. There's just so much interesting stuff here. Just a gorgeous little bouquet of different kinds of peonies. And I also cut some goldenrod because I have a whole slew of it growing here. Just for some added height and greenery. And I'm going to check these flowers. Make sure there's not a whole ton of ants because ants love to get inside of the peonies. them inside and show them to you when they are ready. We are very soon going to be hiring out some help to cut down some of these trees that are just in the way. We love trees. We love the shade. Um, we love the acorns that they bring for the wild animals, but there are just some trees that are dying that need to be taken out. Um, that have a bunch of branches, just dead branches, that just need to be done away with. And this is a prime example of that. You can see right here. It's just a branch sticking out of the dirt. And I know one of my kids did not do this because they are not allowed to make holes in our yard. But you can see that it is a perfect size hole that this branch made when it fell into the ground just like this. So this is the kind of thing that needs to come out of our yard. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited! I found my first baby tomato! There it is! Let's see if I can focus. There it is! <gasps> oh, my first baby tomato! I wonder what kind it is. I made sure to leave all of the markers. Oh no. <laughs> no! Oh, come on. Oh, here, here. Okay, I had it a little far out. This is a, oh, it's a blue gold cherry tomato. Here, I'll put that a little closer. Blue gold cherry tomato. Look at that. So excited. Cover that sucker back up. All right. Go, baby, go. Look, it's got some more blossoms up there, too. Oh, my first tomato. Y'all, we are getting some strawberries in here, too. Look. We transplanted these into this little box here from our neighbor. So I'm hoping that we get a good amount of strawberries, but I don't know. We'll see. I've got a bunch of chipmunk that get into our garden, like I've said before. And whenever they start to turn pink, they eat them. So I'm pretty surprised that this one hasn't gotten eaten yet so uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this fencing it's too big the chipmunks are gonna just take over hmm okay guys I had to go through all of the eggs in the incubator because when I went to add water today for humidity there was an odor so I was very scared of going into the incubator because I've heard that rotten eggs can explode. Nothing exploded on me. However, I had to go through almost 100 eggs to look for the problem eggs. And I believe these are them. Hoping. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. So I don't know what happened, but I know like, oh my gosh, if they explode on me, you're going to hear me scream. But I know I did not put that in there like that 
so no idea what happened. And there are a couple that are like that. So there's one that is actually like, I can't believe. Hmm, which one? They all have very visible cracks. One actually looks like it was seeking something. This one here, you can see the dent in it there. So I'm not sure what happened. Um, but yeah, this one, I think I already showed you guys this one. That, that is just crazy. crazy. Like, how does that even happen? I don't know. I know I did not put put it in there like that. So this one just feels very, oh look, there's also this one. You can see all the cracks and stuff there. So I don't know. I'll ask one of my quail groups and see what happens. See if they have an answer for me. I've got a huge big basket here um, of stuff and let's see what it is. I've got lettuce, a whole bunch of lettuce. I've got some kale. Um, I had a few Swiss chards which was nice because this is one of my favorite. This really beautiful pink colored Swiss chard. Oh, there's my barn kitty. Her name is Kitty. <laughs> and then, under all this lettuce and stuff, I picked more handfuls of basil. Lots and lots of basil. And I actually realized that some of them are kind of getting sun scalded. So, there's that. But, um, this is the making of a really good salad. And this is a really big bin I mean it's the width of my hand if I spread it out really really far so maybe I'm gonna go make myself a salad for a little snack um, and it is a nice day today maybe I should spend some more time in the garden it's just it's a little bit breezy it's I want to say 70 71 degrees so just really gorgeous outside today Kitty. Hey, country baby. Oh, look at her. She is a barn kitty. Oh, careful. She is a barn kitty that we actually adopted. And um, she has just loved us. She is the super nicest kitty cat ever. And when I took her in last year, because I was pregnant with that one, <laughs> um, I wanted to make you know sure she was safe to be around because I was pregnant and my kids are all you know into her and she turned out to be someone else's kitty and the only way that I knew that was because she was already spayed and all of that but um I don't think she's coming out bud but she's just been hanging around I'm sorry to say that someone I don't know they no one lost her we asked all the neighbors Kiki Kiki no one knows who she belongs to. Kitty kitty! <gasps> Come here! I know. The baby's hanging with me. <laughs> kitty kitty! She loves us. Come here, baby. Come here. She lives in the garage. It's like a barn. It's not insulated. <laughs> oh, I think she's done. She's... Yeah, she's been an outdoor cat for, I don't know, quite a long while. She doesn't like to come in the house, really. And, uh... She's scared of noises, so. You're by yourself a good kitty, aren't you, Kiki? <laughs> this year I'm also kind of just letting things go so that I can learn what they are. And one of the plants 
Um, I know, well, it's a three leaf, so I, <laughs> I'm really scared of just letting three leaves go, but this one I could see had thorns, so it was like, nah, it's okay, it's probably a raspberry, and it is. You can see <laughs> all the little teeny tiny, oh, there you go. These are teeny tiny raspberries, so maybe this little bush will turn into something. Mm -hmm. 